Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Scholar of the First Sin. As you can see, we are not wearing our forlorn outfit except for pants. Uh, we are, in fact, wearing my farming outfit because uh, where we're going today, we're going to head into Belfry Soul and uh, read up a little bit on the loot that's in there. And there are a couple enemies in there that don't respawn but have really really rare drops so I have you know as much item find as I can I think as much item find as any can I don't think that there's any other item find there I got the shield the hat and the prisoner's tatters I think the only thing that could increase it more is if I had the mimic hat but that is a very I mean it's a guaranteed drop but it's also would be very rare to have it yet because I think it can drop from any mimic but if you it's guaranteed to drop from like if you kill all the mimics you're guaranteed to get it but it can technically drop anytime before the final mimic as well but anyway we're gonna head into belfry soul uh no boss in it so odds are we will uh yeah i see you dented it why you gotta be a friend there we go uh, but yeah, we'll head into Belfry Soul. Get up. Uh, hopefully we'll get the items. If not, oh well. Can't say I didn't try. Since we're going in here, it's going to be the same enemies as the last time for the most part. The long sword does go over them a little bit. Maybe we'll try out the twin blade bit for this part. Uh, so yeah, this is the other bell tower. It's not the same as Belfry Blue now. Uh, it is very different, as you can imagine, being in a very different place. Yeah, that's a sneak peek of what we're about to do uh, next, or what we'll end up doing next in order. We'll end up dealing with all of that. Now, I do believe that there's levers that you can press to uh, just straight drop those guys into the lava, but I'm going to try not to. This is also like a really niche move because they put the bonfire here and you can't backtrack. It's like this is the point that you're stuck here. Obviously, you can just fast travel no, as you press the bottom. Like, obviously, you can just travel out there. I mean, like, just why is my question. Uh, now, I do plan on spending quite a bit of time in this area to try and access out the Bellkeeper Covenant. Uh, I'm not going to join it right now, though, because uh, there is one enemy in this place that has... Uh, that can drop the bellkeeper items. You have to be a part of the company, and it's a uh, red man, like an invader phantom, but it it just spawns in, like it doesn't invade you. And uh, he spawns infinitely, even without the covenant of champions. But it's a percentage chance that he will spawn, and a low one at that. Okay, now I know that there is some pyromancers coming up, so I will flash sweat because I don't think that my. Uh, my fire resistance is very high in this equipment. Oof, this may not be the best item for this. Because it, uh, it kind of goes to the side thumb, not... I'll just switch back to my regular sword. What does this hit? Uh, oh. oh, 
Oh, well, I can nail that guy in the back of the head. These things are really weird because, like, you can aim them, but it's, like, a weird amount of aim. Now, I don't know exactly. I think it might be that this one here, this witch looking lady. I think they might be the ones who have, like, the really rare drop. I'm not 100% certain. Hey, buddy. I see you with your great sword and shield. Man, there's a lot of these crossbows pointed everywhere. Not crossbows. Oh, I think my uh, flash sweat wore off. I kind of wish that you could move these a little bit more. Because, like I said, you can aim them like up and down a little bit. It's really weird, though. Because like you, like it doesn't actually move. Like you're basically moving the arrow that you hit. Yeah, that's better. With the the twin blade, I will be using in the future. It's in fact, I may switch to it now to fight this big guy. Do it quickly. Because it does work really well on like bigger enemies, like human-sized enemies. Also, I just realized that I forgot to use my, uh... God. See, like I said, it does a lot of damage to you. That, those guys are rather, uh... Agile for fucking great sword users. I'm gonna... I don't see me using my staff anymore. Oh no, not a bell keeper. Whatever will I do? It's just not even fair, they're too short. They, they're, their arms they can't reach. Okay, what do we got? We got a lever there. A ladder there. Now I think the ladder leads us up to this room. And then that's how we get on the other side of that. Check in behind first. Okay, well, maybe not. Uh, can we see in behind here? We can. Nothing there. Aha! Another sitting spice. Now, I think this will ring the bell, but I can't remember. another one of those oh you know what I don't think that was the the one with the rare item drop I think the one with the where ow the one with the rare item drop I think is this prick here I think their helmet that they're wearing is like a super rare drop because there's like two of them they don't respawn unless you use a bonfire aesthetic I'll use the rest of the coin now because I think that there's two of them. And I don't know how long the rusted coin lasts. Obviously, the dual Aveline, I think that's what those crossbows are called, uh, can be insanely tough to be uh, at range. But clearly, if the person runs at you, it, it, you know. Because, <laughs> like, I remember fighting someone like that. One of the reasons, quite possibly. Oh, hello. to not have that much money. Oh fuck, no, I didn't want to use another coin. God damn it. Uh, but yeah, like in Dark Souls 1, I, uh, one of my first invasion, or invasion experiences was with some like dual wheel the Apple. Uh, It was like I was doing so good, right? But I was like almost out of Estes. I was 
pretty far along in uh, the Undead Burg, and then just like random person that I don't know shows up, you know, higher level than me, much more skilled than me. That was my first playthrough of the game, and then just fucking annihilates me with weapons that I had no idea what they were. So I was like, oh, I see, so it's just unfair, and then I never played online again. But I could have swore that there was supposed to be two of those avenue found phantoms. But I guess not. And I guess we didn't get it. I mean, I didn't get my rusty coin, but I don't know if that would have made too much of a difference. But anyway, hey, look at that. We're back up where we got the chest with the ladder, and there's the bottom there. That was the entirety of Belfry's. Like I said, insanely easy. Now that we will switch. Um, back to our forlorn armor. Because I knew that that wasn't going to take very long, so I figured. And then I was like, oh, and then I can do some of the Iron Keep as well. But I figured, why not go and finally finish off things betwixt? Now, I don't know what these, uh... Well, actually, you know what? I will have two spells. Uh, I don't know what Immolation does. Okay. So you set yourself on fire to do AoE fire damage. Awesome. Alright. Uh, but I'm not going to be using the Twin Blade on them. Not a chance. Uh... It is very risky to use twin blades on. Also, do I have I do have the stone ring and that guy still wasn't fucking staggering? Good god. I can do that. Uh okay, we should be good. But finally it's time to finish off things between. I've been waiting for like an episode where it's like, oh we're gonna do this, and then it goes real quick. To be fair, still went faster than I thought it would, don't be sold. Um, definitely way faster than I thought it would. Uh, and this area that we're about to go to, also not very big. Now, are you gonna... There we go. Uh, but there is a little bit tougher enemies in it, so... Granted, I don't know how tough they'll be... Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know how tough they'll be now. Since, uh, you know, really? Who? Who dare? Oh, you dare. Yeah? Ow, fucker. What now? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, what does this say? Search your surroundings. Which should be, you know, in a different spot, you know? Not directly next, maybe. That doesn't really lead someone to search for anything. It's basically, hey, kick this tree. Because, I mean, odds are you're even going to see the message to kick the tree before you see, <laughs> before you actually read the sign. Okay, so, up. oh shit. See, and I wasn't going to run because I. Most of my deaths in this game, I will say, is like that right there. There's like one or two enemies that give me trouble. <sighs> Bridges without railings. They're, uh... They're my bane. Alright. Let's just do this. Rest of the bonfire. Although, to be fair, I guess, in... My hollow armor, you can't really see my head at all unless, like, I face the camera. So, I mean... And considering what we're about to go and fight, there probably was no point in doing that, because we may very well die again. You... where's the other one? There it is. You... You... and you actually managed to... Oh, okay. Now, like I was saying before, I'm gonna go and grab a torch to light this. 
because there is something for lighting all of these. One basilisk there, two. I mean, the way this hole is shaped, I would assume three. Uh, just, just the two. Oh no, there wasn't. Any. So that smoke that they have there, if that connects with you. Um, Uh, if that connects with you, it will, uh, it will, well, I guess if it connects with you, it'll build up your curse meter and then it'll actually work. Now, I don't remember if it works the same. I don't think curse itself works the same as in Dark Souls 1. Because in Dark Souls 1, if you were cursed, it counted as a death. It, it instantly killed you if that built up. Because it would consider you turned to stone. Because they're basilisks. Uh... But it would instantly consider you turn to stone and uh, curse you, which meant that you needed to do something different to get your full health back. Okay, I'll light this one, and then since it's here, we'll get rid of it. And yeah. Hey, look, there's another one that we lit. Okay, so now we can go down and around the rocks to fight those guys, but first things first. Here and kick this over. And oh, it looks like we lit them all. Because that's what makes this guy appear. These stupid jumping attacks that track you is kind of bullshit. A petrified something, which is always nice. Now, since we have that unlocked, that red phantom is going to reappear, just the one guy is going to reappear. So, you know, I'm actually going to go and restore my Estes. Or actually, you know what? No. I'm not. I'm gonna kill these two guys first, and then I'll go and restore my Estes. Now, I said two guys, and obviously there's only one there, but... Look this way. There's... Uh, anyway, he's over there. I got my binoculars equipped. I am not. Just fire that above their head because not. Oosh. I can hear you. Oh wow, I can get him that. Ow. Actually, that didn't do very much. Goodbye. All right. So that's them taking care of. Uh, neither one dropped anything. Now we're not going to go down there quite yet. And you might not see that coffin out there. And honestly, that coffin there—it's—it's it's one of the reasons why I think it's weird that they decide to block that area off. I feel like I know why they chose that area, but at the same time, it's—it's it's still a weird thing to do. So now that we have killed all three ogres that are in this area, those two there and the one that was back by the uh, waterfall, if we come in here and speak to ah, her, you have proven yourself to the forest. We have little to offer, except perhaps these. So we get the handmaids later. Fortune to your journey, in some small way. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's a weapon that you get. That's what you get for defeating all three of those. Is uh, <laughs> where is it? There it is. The handmaid's ladle that does twenty damage. Now, I know some people do actually do like runs where they use the handmaid's ladle, just you know to be assholes basically. But it's still fun. All right. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I know why... Uh, actually, should I... 
because I have magic weapon, right? That would probably help. Um, magic weapon. What else we got? Iron Hush, Fall Control. I mean, Iron Flesh does, but yeah, but it dramatically slows movement. Let me tell you, oh boy, does it. Uh, shit, I don't know which works better. But yeah, that red phantom, I don't really know what the point of it is besides it gives you an extra petrified something. Uh, which is obviously like the best thing to turn into the crows. But anyway, I, I imagine that they chose this area to block off. Because they wanted to... Oh fuck, I have it in the wrong so hand. Because they wanted to put this asshole down here. Uh, uh, and this is more or less the only area, uh, in things betwixt this where you could have, like, at least a somewhat fair fight against this guy, you know? This thing here is a very weird coffin. If you examine it, your character will get in, it'll leave, it'll come back, and then you'll be the opposite. Oh, the opposite gender of what you pick. And that's it. That's all it does. It's just a sex change coffin, which is really weird. And like I said, it's also really weird. And this is where the, uh, the other ogre was. He was hiding behind here, like a little coward. Uh, but like I said, it's a really weird area. For them to decide to block off like that because it has that off in there uh, while at the same time do I still have it? although i don't know if they drop anything useful so i won't do it without my other gear on um but yeah like not that it's very useful because odds are if you made your character you made them to the way you like them, so why would you bother changing it later? I mean, but at the same time, you know, you would decide to change it later. But, I don't know. It's just really weird to me. So, we'll change. My, I don't really need it to change the gloves, I guess, because you won't get any souls from this. here. Yeah, yeah, so nice, so smooth. It's still decent. Now we got a petrified dragon bone to upgrade a weapon, but I don't think that I have any weapons. So I've been upgrading with that as of yet, but that's fine. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm probably gonna... God, should I end the part here? It seems really fucking early to end the part. Yet. I mean, it might just end up being a short part. I mean, Belfry Soul finishing off things with Twix. I mean, technically, we did accomplish two things. Uh, it's not specifically my fault that those two things were insanely easy. I honestly thought the Pursuer gave me more trouble. 
Um, but I guess since he is in the beginning area and you can come here rather early, he is probably a little bit less powerful than some of the other ones we fought that are meant to be, that, you know, are guaranteed to be later in the game. Because, I mean, theoretically, you could fight him before you even fight the, like, the real Pursuer, right? Because you could buy the Fragrant Branch off of the old hag there. And then, uh, Oh, that's right. We also have one more ladder to buy. Right? 12,000. Absolutely. Piss all from my soul cash here. go we now have the longest ladder in there like i said each ladder we're not going to go down like that this ladder's not for sale the, the only things i sell are yeah yeah so now if we talk to him my friend you can have these hey it's a little bonus you know for your big purchase yeah we got a melu scimitar Should have listened to the warning. Huh? No, I wasn't warning. I'm, I'm from the Mimit. The careless miser. Yes, we inherited his equipment. Seen some rough times. Which means that we finished his quest line. Which could literally just buy all of his ladders. Um, I don't think he sells anything new. No. Cheers for that. Uh, but yeah, like as you can see, like this ladder only go basically drops you down to where that first item is that ladder goes all the way down to that platform there and that ladder goes down to more or less the bottom uh, now to get all the items you have to take this short ladder grab the item and then carefully drop down through it and technically you can drop down through here uh, without any of these ladders if you get the silver cap right uh, and I don't think you even need that much health to do it now since we fought some bosses i know this guy does get new armor as we uh as we defeat bosses so yeah we got the penal mask and we have the smelter demon equipment so we'll buy this because it has the best fire resistance the smelter demon stuff and we'll buy the penal stuff which is for the from the uh, uh Thanks for the purchase. Do come again. The Lost Sinner. That's the that's the one. I wasn't waiting for him to finish talking. I just could not remember Lost Sinner. Uh, and then the penal mask. Haha. <laughs> and now we look like the Lost Sinner, although we don't have the sword. But you know, whatever. I also like how the handcuffs, because like, obviously when you were fighting the Lost Sinner, uh, her hands were cuffed together. Her? Yeah? I don't know. The bug was a her. I don't know if the person that she was affecting was. Anyway, there, uh, hands were cuffed together, so I mean, clearly it's supposed to be both hands through there. Now, what I would have preferred is if they had made it so like, when you two hand stuff, that it does, in fact, lock your hands together. Like, that would have been a neat little feature, but unfortunately, no. Now, one thing I do wish to do is actually let me equip as much as I can to see how much this smelter demon shit weighs. Oof, 77, a eh? Ouch, that's a... Uh, that is a hefty fucking weight right there. Uh, and right, I don't have any of this right now. The armor looks fucking cool. I don't like the helmet, so in all honesty, I probably wouldn't wear the helmet anyway. Just ditch the helmet entirely, I guess. Let's put the jester cap on it. I'd probably leave the hood on just so that I got some defense. It looks like it should be uh, 
like an exo, like when you're running away because like it has like the spine down the back, it makes it kind of look like an exoskeleton. Uh, let's see now. Wait, was that it right there? It was the smelter sword. Now, do we have a big ass shield? A pink shield, I guess. The old knight. Like we don't really have a shield that would go well with the uh that Havel's shield probably would, except it's a little bit lighter color, but I'll honestly paint shield the best bet, right? Now let's see. Increases maximum load. Now I do believe that I have I thought I had another link that also increased my cook and load, but I guess not. Okay. Increased it quite a bit. I made it so I can equip the helmet, but oh, 97.6. Oh boy. Still at 87. Good god, this sword weighs a lot. Now, see, I would love to go through the rest of the Iron Keep like this, except for maybe the final boss, because obviously this weapon is fire damage and shock now, the boss in the area that's full of lava does not take fire very much for fire damage. Uh, oof, 101%. Oh, look at that. That shield actually, actually fits rather well. It does not fit over my knee, as it turns out, but it does fit rather well. So, I guess we can stick with the katana. Yeah, that's not a bad roll. I mean, I am under 70%. It looks, I think it's because I'm wearing such heavy armor that it looks funny to me, but. I mean, we could do this. It gives me some extra fire resistance. Fortunately, I do get, have to lose either the ring of blades or the stone ring. I mean, you could say, ah, oh, you could lose them either the serpent rings, but I never, once I get them, I don't let them them. They are a permanent feature. Alright. Let's see, is there anything else we can do? Do not take your bought the armor that we can buy. I don't have anything that to upgrade right now. Uh, I'll also keep the, uh, I'm gonna get rid of the smelter sword. I think that would be so much fun. Uh, I am gonna keep the smelter demon helmet because uh, the smelter stuff, not surprisingly, uh, has the best fire resistance in the game. So if I do need to do any more lava walking, uh, I can use that, the flame quartz ring, and everything, and I should be able to last longer. I think there might even that's more or less impossible to get. Uh, I shouldn't need the Thunder Quartz ring. Keep the rest just in case. So, it's bad. Uh, but yeah, that'll be it for this part. I, mean, uh, I, I wish that there was something else I could do. That way, that doesn't involve my discovery for Kestis' class. Is that a shot here? To see it that is a shot that I found. There we go. Man, we could have had that upgrade so long ago. But hey, now we have eight Estes. Uh, but yeah, I, I, but like, I don't want to do it because I know that we're not going to be... Well, I mean, to be fair, I don't know that. I don't remember how much is left to the... Uh, to the Iron Keep, but I have to assume that it's more than we would get through in a half hour. So it'll just be a little bit of a short part this week, but I mean, last week I think was a little bit of a longer part to get through. Or was it the week before? Either way, recently we had a little bit of a longer part to get through stuff, so thanks everybody for watching. And I will see you next week when we finish up the Iron Keep.